practice prepper. This is a really expensive flashlight. $60, you know, it is more than I can spend myself personally, but it was sent to me to test it out, and it, it is an awfully nice flashlight. It is more waterproof than this guy here, certainly more waterproof than this, and what I like about it is the size. It's even small, it, well, just slightly so, but it's even smaller than the one that I've been carrying for a while. So you know who's probably gonna supplant this one, especially since that battery, you know, who knows about that. Uh, has a lot of nice features uh, on it here. Uh, it just has one button for, uh, you know, on off, and there's a little place for a lanyard here. It's got a little uh, gasketed place for doing your charging right through here. I, I'm a little bit, I have a little bit of a question about this in terms of this being really waterproof. It's, it's kind of a cork that sticks in there, but still it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like that could get knocked off. Now for the waterproof testing, I'm going to be testing the through night TC15 and the TAC Niner flashlight. The other one, it just, it doesn't even claim that it's waterproof. So it's like, what's the point of even testing that? Now the through night is supposedly be, uh, it's supposed to be able to be immersed in water and it'll be totally fine uh, to do that. I'm also going to do the same test on this one. I mean, the, the, the TAC Niner is supposed to just be like, it can get spritzed, you know, with water, uh, you know, sprayed in, incidentally like rained upon or whatever. But it's like, you know, why not just overkill it a little? So I'm, I'm actually gonna submerge them both and we'll, 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 you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, first, the Through Night TC15. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it on and we can put it right under water there. And I'm gonna kind of flip it around a bit, agitate it. Cause I mean, you know, just placing it in there, that's, that's not what we're talking about. So I'm shaking it around. So there's a lot of forces on the side of this thing as it's getting, thrown around in there and it seems all right. I mean, you know, you'd really want to do this a lot. I'll leave it in there for a while. Anyway, let's talk about this one. Uh, it has a few different settings that are all controlled through uh, this, this button at the front. This one is super bright. This has a super bright um, top setting of 2000 lumens, which is just insane. That's an enormous amount of, of light power. Right now, it's just on the Firefly mode. I'm gonna turn that off. And you do little uh, hold downs to go through all the different settings in this one. So overall, I mean, just really simple, but really compact and put together really well. But $60 for that one. Uh, what you're really getting is you're getting something that's smaller, you're getting something that's more waterproof, uh, and you're getting something that has a lot more light output. I don't see the light output as being super important to me just because, like I said, it's like usually, you know, I'm just going for that, like just a little bit of light at night kind of thing. But, uh, you know, definitely you can appreciate the difference in size between these guys. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.